Hello, hi, how are you? Welcome to another vlog. I'm so excited. Today is a very exciting day because today is the first day that I'm going to start working on a project I've been wanting to work on for a really, really, really long time. It's going to take a really long time, but I am so ready to just begin the process. If you are new here, hi, my name is Megan. Thanks for clicking. I am currently attempting to work on two writing projects at the same time. One is an adult horror story that I am planning to write throughout the week, and the other is the one that I'm going to start today, which is the second book in my adult fantasy series. I'm so excited. I have been dreaming <laughs> about working on this story for the past year. Pretty much since I finished the first book in this series, I've wanted to start writing the second book, but I wanted to take a little bit of a breather. I wanted to attempt to write something else, and I'm really glad that I did. So what am I doing today? Today, I am gonna go write at my friend Fatuma's place. I've written with with her plenty of times before on this channel. I am going to start with a big reread of the first book in the series because I haven't read it in a really long time. I think almost a year, maybe two, I don't even know, but it's been a long time since I've read this book and I just am really excited to go back to it with fresh eyes. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read it on the computer because I'm probably going to edit it just as I go. I'm sure there's a lot of errors in there that will need to be corrected. I'd originally planned to read it on my Kobo, but I just don't think I'm going to want to do that because when I notice an error, I'm going to wanna fix it. And for the next little bit, that's what writing is gonna look like when it comes to this particular fantasy project is it's just going to be rereading and editing and reacquainting myself with the story and the characters and I am so excited. <laughs> That's enough chit chat. Let's get into it. Thank you so much for being here. Get cozy because we're going to have a little fun writing vlog. I'm going back to school this week. It's going to be a lot. Hello. Hello. I'm here. Oh my god, it's so cute in here. How's it going? Okay, so something really exciting <laughs> that has never happened before. Actually, it's happened once before, is Fatuma's gonna speak on camera. <laughs> this is Hi. this is my friend Fatuma. Hello, internet. So Fatuma and I have been friends for a long time now. Yes. I How like, long? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. 2014? 2015? That's 10 years. We've almost been friends for 10 years. Fatuma is an exceptional writer. We try to write once a week together, so you've seen her in videos, but she's never actually spoken. She's done amazing work. She had a musical called Dixon Road here in Toronto a few years ago now. Yeah. All about the Somali Canadian experience living in Toronto. It was phenomenal. She's done so many things. I'm not gonna like do the yeah, accolades. Yeah, please don't. I cannot, I cannot. It's very actually. Stand it's weird. You complimenting me for three minutes. I'm it's really weird talking about her like this when she's right there, and like I've never actually presented you before. I feel presented enough. I feel presented. And I'm also doing it on the fly, so I'm gonna forget things. But just like trust, she's an amazing writer. And um, something really exciting has happened, and that is that Fatima has joined YouTube. Started a YouTube channel. I'm right there with you, Meg. Oh, it's going to be so awesome. Honestly, I've wanted this for a really long time because she's fucking hilarious. I probably shouldn't swear. Hold on. <laughs> she, I've, <laughs> I've wanted this for a really long time because she's hilarious and you will see this in her most recent video so i'm just going to film you oh and get God. you to tell the people what your channel is about so first of all you started this channel with a friend yes me and my bestie bacall um are artists who just felt like doing stuff on the internet we both work in the arts and sometimes you just need an outlet to put some unserious content so we started a youtube channel called unserious and yeah, if you want to watch, the last video we put up was me watching Christmas movies for 24 hours straight. Do I recommend it? No. I don't. <laughs> I don't recommend doing it. I recommend it. I recommend I it. I recommend you watching it. I do not recommend you watching oh. Christmas movies for 24 hours mm. straight. But it's a fun little video, and we're going to be uploading some more on it. So 
after you've watched all of Megan's amazing videos, come check out what we're doing. <laughs> this is so fun. We should talk to the camera yeah. more together. <laughs> we should. For some reason, this feels really natural. I don't know why, but um, I will leave a link down below. I'm also going to put a little card up here so you can click into the video, but check it out. Give her a subscribe. She's hilarious. <laughs> Aw, thanks. I feel the pressure to be funny right now, and I am not good yeah, on yeah, pressure. Yeah, yeah, no, just kidding. Um, one day, I will actually do a video. I feel like one day I should do a video where we like film our writing sessions yeah. because I just think that our conversations I do I agree but uh we're not there yet <laughs> we have and to build a trust <laughs> with, with ourselves with ourselves <laughs> and ourselves being filmed check it out give her a follow it's really really awesome and I'm sure this isn't going to be the only time that I push her channel on you guys because I truly, truly believe in this woman right here. Please. I and please guilt me into uploading more videos because I will give up. <laughs> also that, also that. So, okay, that's it. <laughs>is very exciting today is the day that i've been waiting for for a long time and that is going to a coffee shop wearing my new beret with my red lip i'm really excited <laughs> it is ridiculous actually how excited i am for this i have been thinking about this for like over two weeks now ever since i got this new beret i was like oh i am going to rock a red lip and go to my favorite cafe and read on a sunday and that's exactly what we're gonna do i am gonna get a cappuccino and I am going to read the book that I'm currently reading, which is called Notes on an Execution, and it's brilliant. It is so good. I just really like to take joy in the little things. And right now it is wearing a beret and red lip and going to a coffee shop to read.
This is my heaven. <laughs> it is so snowy and beautiful. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to go for a walk. I'm checking in though because it's been a while. It's been a while since I've updated the camera and I thought that I would just kind of explain why this vlog maybe feels like it's fallen apart a little bit uh, towards the end especially, but that's because I went back to school this week. And so I've just been really, really kind to myself. I've been focusing on writing and schoolwork and resting in between and I haven't had a whole lot of time to like check in or do a lot of filming. As you saw though, I do have a little bit of a new writing routine and that is writing super super early in the mornings. I've been getting up between 5 and 6 a.m. all week and just trying to focus for at least an hour every single day and it's been going swimmingly. My days have basically been set up like wake up super early from 5 to 6 a.m. right until I either have to leave to go on campus or I have online classes. And throughout the days, I've been sneaking in reading my first manuscript and just kind of trying to get through that as much as possible. All in all, it's really slow going, especially this week, but that's okay because life just kind of kickstarted again this week. One thing that I really want to say and that I've been wanting to tell you pretty much since I started this week is that I think working on two projects is going to be really good for my creativity. I found this week I've already gotten way more inspiration for scene ideas and just way more like little sparks of ideas than I've gotten in a really long time. And I think it's because I'm I'm infusing fun back into writing by allowing myself to work on my first series because that series is just so fun to write. It's not as difficult as writing a kind of first draft from a zero draft um, <laughs> and having to come up with ideas and find a character's voice. You know, in my other series, characters already have quite distinct voices. I already have a plot. It's all there. I just have such a good time in it. I'm not saying it's easy. I don't think it's always going to be easy, but it's just really interesting how allowing yourself to have fun <laughs> can affect your ability to create. I've made some really good progress in both works and I'm quite proud of myself and I promise once I have settled back into my new routine a little bit more, vlogging will return to more vlogging <laughs> and less just random shots of my days. And I'm sure by next week I'll have more of a groove when it comes to vlogging my days. I just really needed to settle into this week. So I continue to be excited for 2024 and everything that I'm going to create. I think it's going to be a really wonderful year. and. It's currently snowing, so I am going to finish up my classes and go to the gym and just frolic in the snow for a couple of hours. <laughs> Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!